Let us talk a little bit in this model about statements and expressions in C Sharp. I'll create a fresh application for this by typing in .NET New Console, putting that into statements and expressions. And then I'll open that up. I'll first look into the default code that was written for us. This code over here is a complete statement in C Sharp because it ends with a semicolon. A semicolon in C Sharp denotes the end of a statement. Now, what is an expression in C Sharp? If I have something like this, This is a complete statement also because I am assigning a value to a string data type called my message. What I have on the right hand side is an expression. This is the right hand side of my code and this is the left hand side of my code. What I have inside here is the assignment operator. This is used to assign a value from the right hand side to the left hand side. And this specifies the data type I am using in my code. Also, if I have a bunch of code, for example, I declared int h the other time, and then I say if age is less than 13 do this what i'm doing in essence is i am setting a scope for my code so any code i have here will only exist as long as this condition evaluates to true for example console dot right line that i have here would be only for this so for example, I put in age message over here. I would actually need to declare a variable called age message. So I'll go ahead and say age message equals you are too young. Okay. Now, this is a statement and this is also a statement. I would not be able to access age message outside of this curly brace because this is defined as a scope. All the things that are happening inside here are in the scope of this conditional check. You would experience a lot of these statements and scope and things as you continue to write your code. and you would need to decide what level you want your variables and methods and values to be in. Do you want them to be local inside your scope? Then make them be in this color brace. So if I was actually to go ahead and say I want to access my message, I will still be able to access it inside this condition because string message that I have over here is contained in the same curly bracket scope still as this condition. It is just like in your house, you have a compound. You can access things in your compound and bring it into the house. But things that are not in the house cannot be brought outside into the garden. That is the concept I will use to explain that. That is a little bit about statements and expressions in c sharp there's a whole lot more that comes by practice if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will get notifications when i post new videos on this channel see you in another video goodbye